For people who want to do research and innovation in Nalan, yeah. what's the current setup and how do they get involved uh, with that sort of thing currently? What's the current um, I mean, we have a lot of projects, and so it's just really people who are interested. So we have a lot of junior doctors and a handful of students who have kind of got their hands set or either I've got this idea, can you help me make it a reality, or I'm just interested in other projects I can be involved in, and we try and plug people into different projects and points. And then um, I think we're, we're hiring, are we hiring you, Stephen? We're hiring Stephen. <laughs> um, from from uh, February. Artificial intelligence, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're big in Ireland. We're really big on finding. Um, we're not just trying to fill a role or put a bum on a seat. We're trying to find the right people that are going to help progress our network forward. And so I had a job interview and I went through the right process for my job. But before the job existed, I had dinner with a couple of guys from Ireland and they said, What are you interested in? And we talked about things. And then they said, Okay, this is cool. And then later they said, I said, what am I going to be doing this role? And my boss said, that's not very important. It's more important that we have you and you have the skill set and the attitude that is going to take our network forward. I'm building a team of people that are going to progress the network. Again, I've never worked in a hospital that has that kind of mindset towards um, with, with leadership and with people. I've often had it just like, we just need to fill that registrar position. We just need another consultant in that area rather than thinking kind of strategically and innovatively about how we use the people that we've got and we are looking more and more at having roles where there's time for clinical and there's protected time for research and quality improvement work, not just done on top of your slightly more than full-time clinical role, which is currently kind of the status quo. And certainly so much of the stuff that I've done in terms of my YouTube stuff and the coding and the discharge summary stuff, most of that I've done between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. Uh, until this year where I was hired to do that stuff in working hours. And so it's nice being on a consultant contract, and I now get paid a lot more to do less work in total, and I have more of my evenings back. And that's really nice, and it's in the way that I feel valued for the work that I'm doing isn't on top of the thing that I value is actually what they value.